Do children really inherit intelligence from the mother and not the father? It's a classic debate among families. Where did the kids get their smarts? Parents like to joke and claim it's all from their side. Science has a different take. Apparently intelligence is mostly inherited from mothers. Certain genes are called conditioned. They behave differently based on the parent they came from. The genes have a sort of biochemical marker. This marker shows the gene's origin and if it's active or not. Some conditioned genes only work if they are from the mother. If that same gene is from the father, it gets deactivated. Other conditioned genes work the opposite way. They only activate if inherited from the father. Intelligence is thought to come through the mother's side. An early 1984 study explored this phenomenon. Researchers made rat embryos with just mom or dad's genes. Altered mice showed an imbalance. Mice with more mom genes had big brains and tiny bodies. Mice with more dad genes had small brains and large bodies. Dad's genes piled up in a limbic system. It governs basic urges like hunger, mating, and aggression. No dad genes emerged in the cerebral cortex. That area controls advanced cognition, reasoning, thoughts, language, and planning occur there. Researchers doubted extending mouse intelligence ideas to humans. They used a human-based method in Glasgow. They interviewed 12,686 young people annually from 1994 onward. The youth ranged from ages 14 to 22. The research factored in education, race, and more. Still, the mother's IQ remained the strongest intelligence predictor. The mouse results carried over to people. Further research has probed this intelligence theory. Robert Lerk found that a child's intellect hinges on the X chromosome. Females have two Xs, XX, males one, XY. So moms are twice as likely to pass on intelligence as fathers. Males also show 30% more mental disabilities. But it's not just genetics that determines intelligence. Only around 40 to 60% of intelligence is inherited. The environment plays an equally hefty role, but mothers still seem more influential here. A close mom-child bond fosters brain growth. For seven years, researchers observed mom-kid interactions. Emotionally supportive nurturing moms produced a 10% bigger hippocampus in kids. The hippocampus controls memory, learning, and stress responses. Emotionally distant mothers correlated with smaller hippocampus sizes. A strong bond with mom provides a sense of safety for kids. This lets them explore the world confidently. It gives them the ability to solve problems. Devoted caring moms also teach problem solving. This further helps children reach their full potential. There's no reason fathers can nurture as much as mothers. In fact, numerous traits are linked to genes, intuition and emotions passed down from fathers also influence intelligence capability. But capability needs stimulation to grow. A child with a high IQ still needs parental support. Without encouragement, that innate intelligence may stagnate.